Proper grooming is important to the health of our pets. Dr. Amy Guernsey is here with what we need to know to keep our pets healthy and happy. Good morning. Morning. I struggle when it comes to kids and dogs. Trimming nails, it is difficult. Right. It can be challenging for yes. sure. Yes. <laughs> but it's so important. Right. Um, so a lot of people, when they think of nail trims, um, they are really just thinking that it's more of a grooming thing or, oh, it, nails are sharp now, I should go get them trimmed. But it really does come down to health in the, lo in the long of it. Um, so dogs and cats are digigrade, which means that they walk on their toes. We're plantigrade, we actually walk on our, the flats of our feet. So in dogs and cats, when their nails start to overgrow, it can impact how they bear weight on their toes. And it, so it can be uncomfortable um, or even painful if their nails are really overgrown. Well, I'm always afraid I'm gonna trim too much. Yeah, yeah, very common concern. Um, there is a blood supply in the nail, um, commonly referred to as the quick. Clear nails are pretty easy to trim because you can actually see that blood supply, so avoid hitting that with the nail trimmers. Black nails, it takes a little bit more practice to understand where that nail supply ends. It's usually right at the taper, um, so you're just taking off the very tip or the sharp point of the nail on those dogs. And how frequently should we be trimming their nails? Depends on the dog. Um, just like people, you know, some people have to trim their nails and their hair much more frequently than others. Um, if you've got an athlete that's running around all the time, he or she may keep their nails worn down on their own. Um, but if you've got more of a couch potato pet, I do. Uh, <laughs> then they may grow a little bit easier and may need uh, more maintenance trim. So maybe monthly for those dogs. Well, another important uh, grooming method is the, the ears. We need to be taking care of their ears. How do we clean their ears and how frequently should we be cleaning them? Right. Um, so one thing to keep in mind is if you are curious if your dog has dirty ears, if they're shaking their head a lot or scratching or seem painful, definitely take them to your vet first because if they're dealing with an ear infection or a mite infestation, we want to make sure that we're using the right thing to get that cleared up um, before we just transition to maintenance cleaning because we don't want to damage their, their hearing. Sure. Um, as far as actually cleaning, there's a little bit of an anatomy lesson that goes there. We have very short, straight ear canals before we reach our eardrum. Dogs and cats actually have a much longer L-shaped canal. Um, so if you're not using an ear solution to fill that entire canal, massage the base and wipe out the debris, you're really not being quite as effective as if you're just wiping out the top part of it. Okay, and is there a certain kind of solution we need to be using or anything we need to avoid? Um, I prefer just ear solutions that you can get at pet stores or your veterinarian. Um, I have plenty of clients that have tried hydrogen peroxide or apple cider vinegar. Those are not my favorites because mm -hmm. they're really not appropriate for the ear environment that the dogs have. Okay, Dr. Guernsey, thank you for being here with us. And if you would like more information about University Veterinary Care Center, head over to universityvetcare.com.